Hi guys, how are you today? It's me, Jenny, from your Health Matter channel. In my today's video, I will talk about colorectal cancer. In my previous video, I talk about cancer that is most commonly found in men and women. So, welcome to my channel guys and uh, we will discuss about colorectal cancer which I believe this is the most common type of cancer affecting both men and women. In my learning, to, learning agenda today, I will discuss about what is colorectal cancer, what are signs and symptoms of colorectal cancer, what are the tests used for colorectal cancer, and when will you seek a professional help? How will you prevent colorectal cancer? Ladies and gentlemen, what is colorectal cancer? Is it a deadly cancer? Colorectal cancer starts in the colon or the rectum. This cancer can also be called colon cancer or rectal cancer depending on where they start. Colon cancer and rectal cancer are often grouped together because they have many features in common. For men and women, colorectal cancer is the third deadliest cancer. I will repeat guys, colorectal cancer is the third deadliest cancer in both men and women. This is why it's so important to get screened for it. As with all cancer, I always tell this, the earlier it's found, the easier it is to fight off. So you need to know what to look for and what doctors do to screen for colorectal cancer. Here are the common signs and symptoms of colorectal cancer that you can see in my screen. If you have any of these symptoms, guys, you should see your doctor. First, you will feel constipated, diarrhea, or any change to the stool that lasts for more than a few days, which is very unusual to you. Rectal bleeding or blood in the stool. Feeling like you have a bowel movement, but when you do go in the toilet, you are not feeling relief. You will also feel abdominal pain or cramping that is persistent, gas or pain of any kind that doesn't go away. You will feel also weakness and fatigue, weight loss when you weren't trying to lose weight. Test for colorectal cancer. If you present with any of the above symptoms that I've shown you or I just I said a while ago, then your doctor will take a complete family history. Your doctor will feel your belly to see if he feels any masses. He might order some blood tests to see what exactly is going on, like a CBC, which is called complete blood count. This is to check for anemia, liver enzymes, to check your liver function because Colorectal cancer can spread to your liver and two, two more markers in someone who already has colorectal cancer or has it. Again, blood test. The doctor will order you a blood test, complete blood test, which is to check for anemia, liver, enzyme, and to check your liver function very well. And if, if symptoms or the results of this test, the blood test, suggest cancer, 
then further testing is recommended. This is usually a colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is recommended. But sometimes a sigmoidoscopy or an imaging test that use, uses a barium enema and a lower GI series. This helps doctors screen for polyps. During a colonoscopy, if colorectal cancer is suspected, the doctor will take a biopsy. Which is just a small piece of tissue that is removed for further examination under the microscope. In very rare cases, part of the colon may need to be surgically removed, a part less often used to make the diagnosis. Again guys, your doctor will order complete blood count or the CBC and if he suspected that you have colorectal cancer, he will proceed on colonos colonoscopy. And in colonoscopy, if um, found that you have a colorectal cancer, he will do biopsy for more examination, for further examination. Additionally, scans such as CT scan might be performed. This is used more often to see if colon cancer has spread to other organs like liver. It gives a detailed image of the soft tissue of the body. So he has to perform the CT scan. An ultrasound might be performed to try to see tumors. But really, all this would show in tumors in the liver, gallbladder, or pancreas. It cannot detect tumors in the colon. For that, your doctor might recommend an endometrial ultrasound. Your doctor will do endorectal ultrasound where a special transducer is inserted into the rectum. This way, the doctor can see deep into the rectal wall to see where the, can where the cancer has spread. If at all, and it can look at the lymph nodes and the nearby organs. If you don't have any symptoms of colorectal cancer but are of certain age or you have a family history of it, there are screening tests that can be done. Tests that find both colorectal polyps and cancer are perfect. This way, if polyps are found, they can be removed during the screening to help prevent them from turning into cancer. And for less invasive screening tests that check the stool test can be used. The stool test for the less invasive screening test, we can use the stool test. And to screen just for cancer tests, cancer tests like the fecal occult blood test is used. Fecal matter is screened for the occult blood which cannot be seen with the naked eye. If there is blood in the stool, a colonoscopy would need to be performed to determine where exactly the bleeding is coming from. Your doctor also can perform CT scan and the barium enema which is used to screen for polyps and cancer as well. Ladies and gentlemen, don't hesitate to seek a professional help. Check with your doctor to see what he recommends based on your symptoms 
and your family history. While colorectal cancer is the third leading deadly cancer, the development of, of tests and screening has been increasing the survival rate. So, it is very important to see your doctor if these issues persist so these things can be ruled out. And there are often no early symptoms of colorectal cancer. The signs and symptoms may vary when it develops depending on where in the colon the cancer is located and you should be concerned if you are over the age of 50 or you have a family history of colorectal cancer. And maybe you are asking how can I prevent cancer from happening to me? If you do have a family history of cancer, then you probably don't want two things which raise your chances even higher of getting cancer. So here's what you can do and hopefully prevent it. So here in my screen you can see how can you prevent cancer. It's always recommended that eating properly is essential in optimizing your immunity against illness and any diseases. Plant-based food such as fruits and vegetables, spices and herbs are critical in keeping your immunity high and optimized. And of course, keep stress under control and make sure you get plenty of sleep for recovery, 8 hours, exercise for at least 30 minutes every day as well. This good for you patterns of behavior are effective immunity booster. You can go for walk, you can go for running, simple as like that. And of course, you have to rethink your routine. I think routine is very important. Did you know that poor sleep, unhealthy food, alcohol, smoke, and physical inactivity can affect how your immune system assess your habits and improve in critical areas. You should focus on one habit at a time and you have to maintain it for at least a week then do it again. Practice deep breathing every few hours. It's a simple thing when you think about it, but dedicating a few minutes to yourself every day can go a long way in your healthy lifestyle. You do meditation just a couple of um, hours or every few hours, anytime you can do it as long as you are available. So guys, that's for it. From Your Health Matter, I'm Jenny. Thank you for tuning in and um, I hope you can join us again on our next health education, educational presentation. Please subscribe to my channel to stay updated, like, comment, and share. You can comment anything about health that I, you would like to know and I will discuss about it, okay? Thank you very much. Please subscribe. Have a nice day.